Okay, so about the Archer's Paradox, I'm sure every Archer, or at least every worldwide Archer, knows about it. But how about the beginner Archers? So folks, listen up. The Archer's Paradox, what is, what is, what is it and what, how does it influence Archer? Let's say you're a right-handed archer. That means you always place your arrow on the left side of the, of the bow. And you stretch, release the arrow fly straight. But if you place the arrow on the right side of the bow, after you release, you'll find out that the arrow will always hit somewhere right to your target. It will never, never, ever hit the target. Well, about this, there is a way, well, I think the many ways. Um, I myself found, found one. So about this way, uh, this thing, there's a way to uh, avoid the Archer's Paradox, or if you may, go around it. And um, it consists of moving your bow, your bow hand to the left simultaneously with the release. That will give the, your arrow a straight trajectory and thus resulting in you hitting your target. I'm just, um, just going to show you how. It's not that difficult. Uh, you'll ju I'm only 10 meters away from my target and uh, you'll just uh, hear uh, the arrows hitting it. So, I'm going to focus on me, on myself. Okay, that's where I'm going to shoot from. Like I told you, you're a right-handed archer, uh, archer, sorry. That means you hold your bow with your left hand and you draw with the right hand. So, place the arrow on the right side of the bow, stretch, and simultaneously with the release, move your bow hand to the, right, to the left. Thus resulting in your arrow going flying straight and hitting the target. side of the bow. So now I'll take you back to the way I shot the arrows so we can see see them. Right in the target. As I told you, you'll manage to hit the target every time you shoot, if you do this. So, I just want to make something clear, this shooting wasn't about drooping your arrows, it was only about avoiding the archer's paradox. Uh, the ways you can do this is by using a traditional bow, my bow is a Scythic bow, or it doesn't have an arrow rest, as you can see. Look, no arrow rest at all. I just rest with the arrow. So, you can do this, you can avoid the, the Archer's Paradox by, using, uh, by shooting either a traditional bow or a recarved bow which does not have an error release, an uh, error rest, sorry. Okay, this, that, this was all for today. Again, you can avoid the Archer's Paradox by doing 
as I told you so. So until next time, I'm Brad Heather and keep training. Bye.